in this problem we have three logarithms and we want to write it as a single logarithm whose coefficient is one. So the main rule we're going to be using is this one. If you have the natural log of x minus the natural log of y, this is equal to the natural log of, as just x over y. So whenever you subtract, um, you can just divide what's inside the logarithms. The problem here is that we have numbers here in front of the logs. An easy solution to that is to remember that whenever you have a number in front of a log, you can just make it the exponent of whatever's inside the log. So this will become the natural log of m to the 4 thirds. I'm going to put this in parentheses just for some added clarity. This is called the power rule. okay? And then you can take this one and do the same thing. So this will be minus the natural log of 8n to the 2 thirds. Again, power rule. And then natural log of m cubed n squared. OK, um, let's keep going. Um, so now we have a minus here, so we can use this quotient rule. So this will be the natural log of m to the 4 thirds over 8n to the 2 thirds. I'm trying to be really careful with you know, the parentheses and stuff. You know, they matter. It all matters. Minus, minus. And then here we have uh, the natural log of m cubed n squared. So now we can go ahead and use this property again, or we can simplify this a little bit. I'm kind of leaning towards simplifying this just a little bit because it's bothering me. So let's do that. So if you have 8n to the 2 thirds, I'm just going to write it over here and just do the simplification on the side. Properties of exponents say you raise each piece to the 2 thirds power. So this is 8 to the 2 thirds, n to the 2 thirds. How do you deal with 8 to the 2 thirds? Well, this number here on the bottom, the 3, always goes in a little pocket like this. So there's our, our 3. And this piece here is squared. And then we have n to the 2 thirds. The cube root of 8 is 2, so this becomes 2 squared n to the 2 thirds. 2 squared is 4, so you get 4n to the 2 thirds. That feels much better than this. Let's rewrite it natural log of m to the 4 thirds over 4n to the 2 thirds. And that's minus the natural log of m cubed n squared. All right, now we can use our super powerful quotient rule again, which is this one. So it's just going to be the natural log of this top piece, which is one thing in parentheses, so m to the 4 thirds over 4n to the 2 thirds, and that's in parentheses, and that's divided by all of this, so m cubed n squared parentheses. Looks like a beast, doesn't it? So <laughs> it's because it is. So how do you deal with this? So we're taking this entire piece here and we're dividing it by this. I'll write it here on the side. We have m to the 4 thirds over 4n to the 2 thirds, like that. I don't know why I put that in parentheses. This is in parentheses. There we go. Over this piece here. So this whole thing is being divided by this. You're basically multiplying by the reciprocal. So you take this, which is m to the 4 thirds over 4n to the 2 thirds. That's times the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over m cubed n squared. See, when you divide, my equals is off. When you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, So this is going to be equal to m to the 4 thirds over, on the bottom we'll have 4 m cubed. I wrote the m first. What about these n's? Here we have n to the 2 thirds times n squared, okay? So what happens is when you multiply these, you add. You do 2 thirds plus 2. 2 is really 6 thirds. So it's 2 thirds plus 6 thirds 
which is 8 thirds, I did that really fast. But you could basically multiply it by three over three to get six thirds. So this is n to the six thirds. Again, it's two thirds plus two, which is two thirds plus six thirds, right? Think, how do you write two as a number over three? Six thirds. So two thirds plus six thirds is eight thirds. I stop fixed. Very, very easy uh, to, to mess up. So eight thirds. All right, so this is equal to, let me switch colors here because it's getting hard to see. We have m to the 4 thirds over m cubed. So what you do here is you subtract. You do 4 thirds minus 3. So multiply this by 3 over 3. So it's 4 thirds minus 9 thirds, which is negative 5 thirds. So this will be m to the negative 5 thirds over 4n to the 8 thirds. Oops, 4n to the 8 thirds. There we go. Now we can bring this down. So this is going to be 1 over 4n to the 8 thirds, m to the 5 thirds. Wow, a lot of work. So our final answer is going to be the natural log of 1 over 4n to the 8 thirds, m to the 5 thirds. Lots of uh, annoying fractions there at the end, but we finally did it. Uh, we finally finished um, the question. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.